Hey guys, now today we're, I'm going to show you how to find large files on Linux. So um, I have another one where I go into more depth with the du command and some of the switches, but we're, we're going to be using the du command for a lot of this. So I'm going to show you a bunch of options and a lot of practical things um, that, that will help you find large files. So um, anyways, we're going to start with a du-a and um, that's going to search in our current directory by default. Um, actually, before I even do that, let's show you what's in the current directory. So we have a couple subdirectories and a, and a few files, right? So you, you can type du-a, and a is going to make it so that it, it, um, it finds all files, not just directories. And um, let's see, let's, let's just try this out just to start. Now, that's, this gives you a ton of files and their sizes and bytes, right? So this gives you, and, and let's say, say if you took away the A, um, you're going to see uh, it, it's not going to show, it's only going to show you directories and it's not going to give you these, uh, uh, any of the actual files. Notice these are all directories. So add the A and it gives you the actual files that are using up space. So just, just worth being aware of. Now, if you, if you want to, if you want to, you can actually pipe this to sort dash NR to sort it. And that has the smallest ones at the bottom. But if you want to get the, the, the largest files, you, you, you actually you could remove the NR and it's going to give you the largest ones at the bottom right here. Um, if you remove the R, the N is to sort by number and the R is to sort in reverse, right? But we're, we're going to stay with R and we're going to pipe it to head. And that's going to give us the top, our top largest uh, files and directories out of ev everything. So uh, given this is only so useful because it gives us this directory and then the subdirectory within that directory, right? So still, this is something to start with and uh, great for hunting down things that are using up your space. So another command you could do, um, let, well, you know, for next, you know, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to run this on your so you can specify the directory, right? So you, you could specify the current directory like this, which is gonna give you similar results. Actually, interestingly, yeah, so similar results. Now you could specify something like var, var log. Now it's gonna give you some issues in terms of permissions, um, but let's give it a shot. And looks like it didn't give me any permissions issues. Oh yeah, th there, there it is. If you, no, no. Anyways, all right, right, right here. You'll see a few things where it can't read directory permission denied. You can just use sudo and uh, solve that problem. So you can specify a directory like this. We're going to try the root directory, right? Now we, we should eventually see a lot of errors for things that we don't have permission for. I'm going to stick with var log and we're just going to say sudo and um, anything that is, uh, so we could say sort dash n dash you know i'm just gonna put nr like that and head dash n 20 to get the top 20. now by default head should give you the top 10. Well, let's let's go for i believe it's the top 10 if not top 15 in top 10. anyways uh let's say uh 20 to get the top 20 right you can specify the number and there we go that's interesting that those are the largest files on my system. That can't be right. Or the, the, the largest files in my var log. All right, so the largest logs anyways. Yeah, that, that's fine. All right, so another thing you could do that I used in one of the examples, if you check the link in the description, I have some of these commands so you can copy paste them. But another useful thing to be able to do is to put errors, to redirect any errors to dev null, which I, I haven't seen any errors in this case, but you, you could do that. All right, so Let's uh, move along to some more useful commands. Um, all right, so du-ah, 
right? So, and do the current directory by default, right? And this is going to give you your give you the file sizes or directory sizes in uh, human readable units. So in e either kilobits or if it makes sense, megs or gigs, um, which is more useful, but you can't sort them as easily. That's the problem with this. So one reason to stick with bytes is, is so that you can sort them. Um, it's a little bit trickier to sort them when they're displayed like this. Um, anyways, a couple other commands to look at would be, you can just say duh without the a and notice the difference here. You're, you're only getting uh, directories and no files, but you're, you're getting the, you know, you're getting the sizes printed in a human readable format. Um, so there you go. Um, I guess that's not too exciting. The other thing you can do is uh, use an asterisk for every file in the current directory. So notice how, um, so, so note, first off, notice how H, D-U-H is going to give you only directories. Now, if you use the asterisk, it's gonna give you files and not just directories, but only in the current directory. If you look in these, uh, in, the, in these subdirectories, it's not gonna give you any of the files under those subdirectories, only um, the files in the current directory and any subdirectories. All right, so let's test that. All right, so this is, oops, this, this is what, uh, I just created another subdirectory, this is what it looks like. And let's just try, uh, let's just try running it like this, with the asterisks in the current directory. Now, this is, notice how um, this is gonna give us the size of uh, these two directories, or uh, D is a directory, so it gives us the size of D, and the size of C and B, which are files but um, the file within D, it won't give us the size of it. So, so hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might wanna give me a thumbs up. Um, you might wanna hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not gonna let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up and, and we've actually, if you wanna check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.